All right, I think we're gonna have to go around. That's an X1, 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 Xbox One box. Well guys, those were TV stands and probably I could have sold those for easily $25 to $40. The reason being is uh, people want stands. They buy pre-owned televisions off of Facebook Marketplace Craigslist and uh, they don't come with stands because people like to hang them on their walls now. Well, the only problem, I didn't take those. The reason being is because they weren't associated. I didn't see a model number on that unfortunately so it's kind of a bummer to uh try to figure out what, what television they go to when there's no model number there's no identification on the actual uh stands of the television now there is an endo board uh, i see the wooden part of the endo board right by this wall right here uh so what i'm gonna have to do is i'm gonna have to throw something away the reason why is uh there's a child right here and it's gonna look really weird uh and he's just for some reason just sitting there so <laughs> i'm gonna throw something away and then jump back in my car uh, i'm only gonna get it if uh the endo board has the thing underneath and actually i'm gonna look it up on ebay first before i even grab it to see if it's because it's kind of big this is a big endo board <music> Well, it was very nice condition. Those brand new go for about $129 on eBay or so. Unfortunately, there's no uh, black portion to it. The rolly uh, plastic kind of pad thingamabobber. Uh, maybe I'll come over. Uh, I'm definitely going to come over tomorrow. I don't I don't think anyone's going to take that if there's no rolly foam. And it's just, it's a surf trainer. So only somebody that kind of knows what it is would grab it. Hey guys, if you're new here, welcome. We have a lot of fun here. Smash that subscribe button down below and turn on your bell notifications. So when fresh content comes out, you're the first to know. I was just looping over right over here and I didn't want to film it and embarrass them, but uh, they pulled behind the half wall, really nice furniture piece. So hopefully they'll be able to work that. They probably definitely live here in the community there was no cars around so good score for them Unfortunately, what happens in that situation, the maintenance guys, their job is to clear out the aisle and they go home at six. So most likely, uh, even with the other people that we did see uh, uh, putting, taking the thing from over on the other side of the half wall, the maintenance guys, sometimes if they don't have help, they just kind of shove it over there the best they can. And again, it's just trash. They call in the big guys to come in, grab it, recycle it, hopefully goes to a proper area. But that was a, I believe, four or five yeah four drawer ikea unfortunately it looks like it was kind of beat up when they threw it over the half wall uh there was a dining room chair a nice leather looking one table uh i mean obviously it's probably not that beat up i mean good stuff nonetheless let's keep hunting tonight Those football trainers or were those wrestling shoes? I couldn't really tell. All right, there's a few folks around, but there's gorgeous vases right over here. Let's go grab them. Wow, I told you those were gorgeous and nice and tall as well. That's house goals, baby. All right, let's see if our goodies are still here. The glass, yeah, there it is. 
and an office chair. Office chair was a little bit beat up, but there's the table. Uh, it doesn't look like the glass is in the middle of it. it. looks like the glass broke. That's why they put it out there. Regardless, just get another piece of glass in there and you're good to go. Some nice little shelves there. There were uh, two more on the other side. I didn't film it though, but I was able to grab some nice boxes. Some sort of like uh, love seat here. That might be Ikea. It's kind of folded up with the back portion kind of down flat, but uh, anyway, that's a nice little love seat. Wow, my goodness gracious, that was a beautiful table, like no scratches in it, uh, like darker, beautiful wood on white with the legs right there. I didn't see any of the hardware, but again, <laughs> five bucks Home Depot, get that bad boy. That's 200 all day. That might be a 250 table. That's house goals. I'd put that right in my house, I'll tell you what. Woo, wait, did you see that table? Hey, 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 well, I got you on camera. Let's take the corner here. All right, I think we're gonna have to go around. That's an X1, 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 Xbox One box. All right, there's a parking stall right over there. There was a lady right behind me and I think she saw me filming, but it doesn't matter. That was an Xbox One box live right here with you. What's that? Oh. Well, I thought that was it. I thought there, there was way to it, and I was like, this is it, baby. This is it, Xbox One, Xbox 360. Still a good score, but those don't really sell anymore. Uh, but I just grabbed it to donate, see if it's a one with the hard drive in it. Might be able to get 40 bucks, 35 if I'm lucky on eBay. And it's time for a little reveal, just a little bit of a reveal of the surprise. And you guessed it, I am moving. We got all the goodies, taking down the decorations. That's going to be a little interesting, getting the projector screen down. But we're looking really good. Now, the first question you have is, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. You're moving to Colorado. And well, the answer to that is not yet. I definitely would love to live temporarily in Colorado or full time. We'll see where the Lord takes us. But for right now, California is calling my name. I'm going to stick in California and the full reveal of the surprise will be where that is. Going to be completely out of here. February 10th is our last day. And again, I was just renting this space. It was about a 1,400 square foot Brooklyn brownstone type of a condo that goes straight up thin and long. And so comes the time where rent begins 
becomes a very large house payment and it's time to start rethinking and start getting our finances in order, hitting reset, And so we will fully let you know all about that. I realized that I have a lot of stuff. We all have a lot of stuff, right? And there's a lot of stuff that you're probably going to find again. You're probably going to find at garage sales. You're probably going to find that's replaceable. Now, there are things that are not replaceable that are expensive. I love this couch, etc. But there's going to be a lot of things out on the balcony. We've donated a ton. And we're going to donate a ton more. Decorations, the 65-inch television, of course, we will keep that. Ikea decorations, projector screen, etc. But then there's a lot of other things like, I'm like, eh, do I love the clock or should I donate the clock? You know what I'm saying? Eh. <laughs> so anyway, we're going through some of that stuff, but a lot of the decorations I do love and do have significant value to them or emotional value. I found pretty much every single uh, one of those decorations, that decoration. Fireplace I love. I found all that stuff. The hoverboard found, found that found that decoration behind there. You guys have seen all the videos, found those black decorations up there, found the clock, found this right here. Mr. Sleeps a Lot was like, Chris, don't overthink, sell it or get rid of it because you're probably gonna find it again. And what's cool is that I can donate knowing that Salvation Army is gonna sell it for good money to put it to good use. So that's a win-win in my book. So stay tuned for the full surprise. We will slowly start to reveal that, but we are moving. And before I let you go, if you guys would smash that thumbs up button, it helps with the YouTube algorithm so more people can find the videos and enjoy the good finds. Thank you, Jesus, for everything I found. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.